Hello everyone, my name is Anis with Signworks Technologies and today I'm going to show you guys how to create a user account. So let's say if you have uh, a new network administrators, network engineers in your team and you want to add uh, an account for them. So how are you guys going to do it? Let's, I'm going to show you, let's do. So first of all, uh, let's do a show run and see if we have uh, any user accounts. No, we do not have any account in this, right? So what we got to do as usual for um, any configuration, we have to go to the config mode, all right? And then do username. And if you do question mark, um, it says a word. So just any name you want to do, like let's say Mike, uh, another question mark, and let's do the password first. So I'm going to do password and do another question mark. Uh, it's going to ask me to you know, type any password, whichever you want. All right, so let's do Cisco. All right, then space and another question mark, nothing. So keep in mind, I hit uh, space bar here. And if I do enter, it will take the, the space bar in the password. So if I do Cisco and I just enter, it won't let me in. Right, so make sure there is no extra space bars in the password section. So I'm gonna do the big space, as you can see. Okay, and it's enter and end. And now I'm gonna do a show run again. And here it is. Username is Mike, privilege one. By default, it took privilege one. And then password is zero, I mean, no encryption, and it says Cisco. But here's one thing, for security reason, you don't want to do the simple uh, plain text password because uh, everyone can see it, right? And we don't want everyone to see that. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'll create another user account. Oops. Okay, username, and this one I'm going to do, I'm going to say uh, Anise. All right, and then do question mark. So here, what I'm going to do, instead of a uh, plain text password, I'm going to do a secret. Secret will make it, um, you know, the, it will encrypt the password, so no one will be able to see. So I'm going to do the same like Cisco and enter. All right, so username Anis, secret Cisco. For the mic, it will use the name mic and password Cisco. So now, let's go to show run again and see the difference. Here it is. You guys can see for Anise, the password was Cisco, but with the command secret. And for Mike, it was Mike and password was password like Cisco, right? So Cisco, plain text, uh, I'm sorry, password will not encrypt the password, while secret command will encrypt the password. So no one will be able to see it. So the best option for security, uh, we got to use secret. If not, then if you can if use password, you will be able to see the password. And I mean, everyone will be everyone whoever uh, have access to the, your running config, they will be able to see the password. So it depends on the situation. If you wanna, um, yeah, you know, show the password to the admins or technicians or whoever has access to the show running config, then you should do the password. If you want to hide the password, uh, then you got to use the secret command, okay? So let's create another, um, let's create two more accounts just for practice. So config t, username, uh, right, let's do network, okay? And let's do password, uh, Cisco. I'm going to use Cisco because it's easy to remember, so you know, you don't have to reset your passwords, uh, at least, you know, for the practice in the, la in the labs. All right, I'm going to do another user. Uh, I'm going to do the same network 2. I'm going to name it network 2 and uh, secret Cisco. All right, so let's do show run again. Okay, 
So what I can see here, username Anis, secret, uh, nothing, I don't see, that's encrypted. For user Mike, it's Cisco, password, everyone can see it. Same we did for network, favorite is one, Cisco. And secret, username, network two, secret, so it's encrypted. So right now, um, just in case, if you want to know, if you want to find out how many user accounts do you have, these are local user accounts in, in the switches. So you can have more user accounts in your um, server, TechX or Radius server. We will discuss that later in some other videos. I'm going to show you guys how to, uh, you know, uh, configure Radius and um, TechX servers. Right, so that's it for the day. And if you guys have any question, please let me know in the comment section. Uh, also, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.